the key to a good PKM, or second brain, is capture mechanisms. I've recorded videos on capturing information fast from the brain software by having a predictable structure and using a code snippet tool to create fast to use templates. However, that only covers about half the data I enter into my PKM. The rest of my information is imported from other software like Ulysses, Day One, Kindle, YouTube Premium, and the target of this article, Memex. For this video, you should be running the Brain software, version 13 or later, and have a browser with the Memex extension installed, version 3.2.27 or later. Let's touch on some of the other apps that I use to capture. Ulysses is both a capture and express application. I create all of my Medium and company articles in Ulysses. It is easy to just select all and paste a completed article directly into a thought in the brain. Day one. This journaling tool is available on macOS, iOS, and Android. This is the only place where I don't move everything into a thought note. The On This Day feature allows for review and reflection of my thoughts, some over seven years old. That enables me to understand if I'm moving in the mental and physical directions I want as a person. Kindle and Audible. I love books, but I also have learning disabilities that slow down my neurological ability to uptake written information in long format. I've figured out how to combat this by using a combination of the Kindle app and an Audible subscription to help me consume more books with higher retention. The Kindle app also allows me to take notes and use read.amazon.com to export my highlights and notes into the brain software. Given my learning disabilities mentioned before, you might understand that uptake of new information in short form video format is significantly more effective for me. So I use YouTube a lot, so much that YouTube Premium gives me an ROI. I use YouTube videos so much that I've been posting these videos here. However, taking notes from YouTube has always been slower than I would like. I would try to keep the brain open on one screen and start and stop the YouTube video on the other screen, switching back and forth. Enter Memex. I started looking for answers to products like Pocket and Instapaper. But in late 2022, I learned about Memex by watching Brian Jenks four hour long end all be all Obsidian Zettelkasten video. Yes, I had to break that video down into smaller chunks, watching only 20 to 45 minutes at a time, given my aforementioned uptake limitations. But let's get back to Memex. This beta product installs in Chrome, Brave, and Firefox on Windows, Mac, and Linux. There is a Memex Go app for iOS and Android devices. The thing I like about Memex on the desktop OS is that it is always working. As I browse anything online, I can quickly save a highlight, take a note, or mark a web page to be viewed later. Before learning about Memex, I was a subscriber to Instapaper and had done some research on Pocket. Though Instapaper was very nice to use, capturing highlights and notes without having to save the web page and then move over to the Instapaper app to create highlights and notes made the switch very intriguing. As you can see here, I can be in an article, simply find something that is interesting, highlight it, save that highlight, Add a note to it, and know that everything is saved in Memex. The result of this ease of taking notes is that I had over 70 web page notes by the end of the first week. You can access your Memex saved information by simply typing M and a space in your browser and hitting enter. Here we can see the Memex spaces that allow me to organize information for later searching and processing. I find these exceptionally useful as they let me know what stage of processing and the topics in the particular article. Memex also injects results on search pages to allow you to search page titles, highlights, and notes you have created. This makes it even faster for me to find the article I read last week. Even in the first week of use, this search feature allowed me to recover a web page I was looking at. These are features that make Memex so easy to use, but two killer features make me love this software. First, YouTube note taking. Second, export templates. As the Memex sidebar can be locked open on a screen showing a YouTube video, it is easy to start taking notes. Even more important, using Command Y on a Mac or Control Y on Windows or Linux, Memex will insert the timestamp of the YouTube video into the note. This is a game changer for me. The ability to take notes with the time shortcut in the notes allows me to take notes closer to the flow of the video. Furthermore, 
as these are fleeting notes, I know I will be progressively summarizing them as I pull them into the brain software. I don't stress over perfectly formed prose and ideas. I can fix them later. Moving right along, after taking all the notes I might have on a particular video, the ability to export them to the clipboard makes it easy for me to move the highlights and notes into the brain software. To export notes, you need to have an export template to format your notes. You can always start with the GitHub template that I have. Though export does not create the most beautiful notes, it does move data quickly. I have found that having this template removes friction for me to move said highlights and notes into the brain. A key point in ensuring that I will process them further and be able to make better use of the information later. Memex the bad. This is a beta product. I've had to remove and reinstall the extension to continue to use it. This does not bother me, but it might be a deal breaker for some. Memex has been a paid extension in the past, and I expect I will gladly pay for it when it returns as a paid option. Memex Go is a standalone app on mobile devices. There is no browser extensions for mobile devices. So if you are trying to have an all mobile workflow, Memex is not the right tool for you. Then again, neither is the brain software. Thank you for joining me for the seventh episode of Yazirix, Memex and the brain software. Please like and subscribe. You can also find the training brain I'm using in the links below, as well as a link for our Discord channel, Reddit channel, and my Twitter handle. If you have any particular PKM questions or would like to see me explain a particular feature with the brain software, please put them in the comments below. Until next week.